Why do you think people should be obsessed with you when you're not even obsessed with yourself and you don't think you're worthy of being obsessed with yourself? Because if you were obsessed with yourself already, you wouldn't be clicking on this video. And I'm telling you this because at the end of the day, everything in this life is a reflection and people outside of you just reflect what you have inside. And if people outside of you don't show obsession towards you or don't show some kind of admiration or something, that means that you don't have that in yourself. You're still at that point where you let external reality, external people, external opinions, external anything, validate who you are. Because if you think, for example, that you are a great person or a super nice person, and then you go outside of the world and then three people say, oh, she is such a bitch, and you believe them, and then you start feeling bad about yourself, that means that you still rely on other people's opinions about you and you let them define you when that's not the way it works, honey. The way it works is like you decide who you are, you decide exactly what energy you put out and then you ignore anyone who is not in that vibration. And if you think like that, you will end up creating this path of yourself or like these people at the beginning, they're gonna be strong and strong and strong against you because they're kind of like trying to show you your limiting beliefs. But at some point, if you're really solid with what you think about yourself and you're truly obsessed with yourself, they will just dissipate and they will just disappear and you will live that life of like you being obsessed with yourself and the external reality showing that they are obsessed with yourself as well. Right now you're at a point where you allow a reality in your life that you don't really want. And how did you get here? Probably because of fear of rejection, fear of abandonment, fear of anything, trauma that you still have there. I'm gonna tell you a little story about my life where I realized like I wasn't doing things right. And I was like, why is like this person or this person not obsessed with me? Why are things not working out the way that they should? And it's because I was accepting a reality that was not meant for me. Let's say that you're like perfect reality. In my case, this was like that I was dating this guy that I had made a really like detailed list of like this is what I want in a boyfriend. I met this person, we started dating, everything went fine and then after some time I started seeing that he checked less and less and less and less things from my list and then when we had that conversation where it's like okay what are we and he was like well I want to go with the flow and this and this and that. I did not want that. I wanted a committed relationship and I wanted to know that he was in but what did I do? I just accepted that external reality when that was just not what I wanted because I was afraid of this person leaving and I was also defining myself and my self-worth through the fact of having a boyfriend because I was like, oh, if I have a boyfriend, that means that I'm worthy as a person because I don't define myself as worthy as a person, you know what I mean? So what happened with that is that I accepted this reality that I didn't like and from there things just started to go down. I stopped really telling him what I thought because I was like, well, it, I always need to accommodate to him because like he's the main character in this story and I'm not the main character anymore, which is like, you're not obsessed with yourself, you're obsessed with him. At the end of the day, you are the main character of the story. So after some time, it came to a point where like my reality and the relationship part was like not what I wanted. And it just became worse and worse and worse. And I think that this just triggered me more and more and more every time. And that's just the universe kind of telling you like, hey, hey girl, you need to be obsessed with yourself and you're just not doing a good job at it. And it came to a point where I was like, okay, I need to get done with this and I need to like stop defining myself through this person because this is just hurting me and my life in general. And the moment I did that, the moment I was like, okay, I'm gonna make a list of what I actually want in a relationship and life and this and that, and I'm not gonna tolerate anything that's outside of this. The moment I did that, the moment I just detached from this person, I was just like, okay, I'm done with this. I don't wanna hear anything this person just clicked and then came back to me and then became this person that I wanted him to be all along. Then he was committed, then he wanted this, then he wanted that. And I was like, okay, so it was this easy. But the thing is, a lot of us probably don't take these steps because we are afraid that maybe we will lose that person, maybe we will lose that job if we stand up to our boss because we want a raise and we think that we deserve a raise and we will just not stand up to that boss because we're like, well, what if I don't deserve it? What if this? What if that? You are accepting an external reality that's not the one that you want. And this kind of ties up with the law of assumption in the sense that if you want a reality where you're rich, you're famous, you have the perfect partner, you have children, you have whatever you want, you need to kind of like get into that mindset that that's what you're gonna accomplish and just live your life that this is the direction you're going to. And I'm not saying just quit your job tomorrow or just leave your partner if you're, they're not doing this, but just maybe get clear on what you want because I think a lot of people are first, not clear on what they want and second, they don't think they're worthy of getting that. Because I know that the moment that you think you're worthy of certain things, you're gonna take certain actions that you wouldn't have taken before. For example, I had this situation also a few years ago. I was working at a customer server call center kind of job and I was like, I'm really good at marketing. I'm really good at like yoga. I'm really good at like all these things. Why am I doing this job that's paying me like $900 a month when I could be working like 
as a marketing manager for a yoga company because that's just like something that I was like, you know, I would like to do this job. Like this is what I want my external reality to be, not this. So I remember just like going into this one office, changing my whole Instagram profile, saying social media manager, this and that. And I went in there as an influencer. But I changed the conversation with the CEO of this company. It was a small startup here in Barcelona. And I was like, yeah, because like, I've seen that your social media team is like pretty good with what they do. Are you maybe looking for help? And then he was like, you know what? We actually just fired our social media girl um, because she wasn't doing a good job. I actually saw that you have like, that you are a social media person. And I see that you have a following. So you know what you're talking about. Um, would you like working for us? And I was like, yes, I actually would like. And I'm charging $2,000 a month, which was double of what I was making at, at the place where I was before and I've never charged that amount of money but I was at this point where I was just like I am not allowing anything less than this because I know that I'm worthy of this they gave me the job and I had like the best few months of my life after that and I was like how the fuck did I make this happen obviously some imposter syndrome came with this but you need to realize that the things that you want they're not out of your league they're not that far away they're not that much of a stretch as you think they are I promise you they're not. The only thing standing between you and this thing that you want is how worthy you consider yourself. And let me tell you something else. I know that sometimes maybe you will look at other people outside of you, like external reality wise, and you're gonna be like, oh, this person is like really consistent. She's going to the gym every day. I, I feel jealous of this person. At the end of the day, you don't feel jealous of the person. You just feel jealous of the fact that she can be consistent and go to the gym every day or eat healthy or make this amount of money. So you need to see when something triggers you in your reality and be like, okay, this is something that I actually want for myself. It's not that I hate this person. It's just like, I hate not being there. And you need to kind of flip it and be like, okay, I want to be making this amount of money or I want to have this new habit or I want to have whatever it is. And this is not to say that you need to do these things first, like have these new habits or something or be this new person to be obsessed with yourself until you get there because maybe you're obsessed with this celebrity or this person that you really admire who does these things that you want to do. You need to learn how to be obsessed with yourself now. Even if you're like now laying in bed, having depression, eating ice cream or watching this video, whatever it is, the moment you become obsessed with yourself, how you currently are, I promise you, this is just gonna make you become the best version of yourself because it's gonna give you a lot of self-compassion, which is something that you honestly need. And I'm sure that if you saw your friend being in the same situation that you are in right now, you would be like, oh, maybe she's laying in bed right now, maybe she has depression, but she's so cool and kind and hardworking and this and this and that. And you could tell me a thousand good things about your friend, besides from the fact that she might be dealing with depression or she might not be in her best body weight or whatever it is that you don't like about yourself right now. So if you're able to look at yourself with this compassion for like five minutes, maybe write down a list of like all the cool things that are about you. And if you need help with that, I, a really great thing that I encourage you to do is ask your friends, ask the people that love you the most to be like, hey, send me a list of like everything that you love about me because you're gonna see a lot of things that maybe you don't really see on a daily basis. Because being obsessed with yourself in this stage of your life that you are in right now, even if it's not like the most perfect and glamorous and whatever it is, it will make you stop pressuring yourself to change. And when you stop pressuring yourself to change, that's when you actually change and it, you change because you want to. I have to tell you like three years ago or two years ago when the whole COVID thing happened, it was happening. I remember I spent some months where I literally did nothing because I was like, you know what? I need to stop thinking that I'm only worthy when I'm productive. I'm only worthy when I work out. I'm only worthy when I eat healthy because this is wrong. And <laughs> this is just hurting my mental health. And I just decided to stop working out, stop eating healthy. And I was just like, I'm just going to let go of myself. I'm just going to like be whoever I'm right now, which was someone who was depressed, who hated her job, who was like in the whole pandemic situation. And I'm just going to accept who I am. And that's it. And like, there's nothing wrong with being a piece of human trash at the moment. And I remember I stopped working out and I just laid in bed, watched Netflix, didn't really do that much for like a few months and I slept a lot and I actually had not been sleeping too much for like the past months and then I realized first thing I was really tired from like sleeping six hours a day for like way too many months and I was like well maybe I needed a bit of sleep to kind of like recover because my face looked tired all the fucking time after I slept for like three months like where I just like I slept for 10 hours a day and things like that I kind of like felt better I realized like oh my god my energy levels are better I'm feeling better and then I started to kind of eat healthy because I wanted to, not because I forced myself into it. I just wanted to. And then some days I would have junk food, but I wouldn't have like set days where I was like, today you have a cheat meal, today this. No pressure. Just allowing yourself and accepting yourself who you are in the moment 
and allowing that to just be there. I feel like sometimes it really helps me to be obsessed with me in the moments where I'm like not looking good or like not like to the outside world it wouldn't look good is think of myself as like this anime character who has like her development arc you know what I mean of like I'm like working through it and I don't have to set a date where like this arc ends it's just like I just need to I don't know be myself and just allow things to happen like there's no rush to become this version of yourself life is meant to be enjoyed at the end of the day we're on this planet to just enjoy life and to just process things and feel our feelings and all of that and I feel like we forget that because we we get so focused on like the external things that we want like I want this perfect boyfriend and this perfect house and this uh, this amount of money and whatever because at the end of the day it just comes down to the fact that you need to accept yourself you know when you go to a party and you see this one really weird girl who's like dressed really weird like dancing weird doing weird things and maybe you would not become friends with her because she is like not your style of person but you can just see her just vibing and enjoying herself and it probably triggers you or you're probably like ugh why is she doing this oh she's probably like wanting attention that's you telling me that you're not obsessed with yourself because you would be celebrating her if you were obsessed with yourself because you would be like oh my god i'm my weird whatever original unique self and this girl is hers and this girl is hers and this person and this well guys girls whatever days you know what i mean whenever you're obsessed with yourself you don't look at what other people are doing you look at what you are doing and if you have time to be criticizing other people it's because those people are kind of telling you something they're telling you like hey maybe you need to look back inside maybe there's something that you need to work on maybe this trigger is some good information for you to be like i don't accept myself if i'm judging this one person who is being fully herself like maybe I'm not being myself, maybe I just don't allow myself to be the weird person that I am because I don't accept myself, because I have this fear that other people won't accept myself. So this is really just a work of like, kind of like sitting with yourself, discovering who you are and accepting who you are because there's nothing wrong with who you are. I can tell you, I promise you, there's nothing wrong with who you are. And something that helped me, I don't, I'm not saying that this is gonna help you as well, okay? But there was this time in my life where I felt like this and I realized that I was depending on external validation way too much. So I decided I just wanted to stop talking to all of my friends, uh, break up with the guy that I was dating at that point and just move to like another neighborhood in my same city where I wouldn't see those people and just kind of like start fresh and be by myself and be alone and be like, okay, who am I when I'm by myself? And I'm like not taking on others' personalities because I feel like when you've depended on external validation for too long, you have the tendency, because I've had it for a long time, to like hang out with one person and kind of like take in their personality, hang out with one person, take in their personality. And I'm not saying there's anything wrong with like, I don't know, maybe you didn't have an interest in specialty coffee, like it's my case, and then you meet people in this world and you're like, oh, wait, I'm actually interested in coffee. But this, this is one thing, and the other thing is that you just like, you date this one person and then you became obsessed with like gaming. You date this other person, then you become obsessed with jazz. When in the end, you're like, would I do these things by myself? Probably not. So maybe they're not actually your interests. Which obviously doesn't mean that you cannot be interested in these things for your partner, for your friend, whatever it is. But just allow yourself to be yourself, to have your own interests, to just spend time doing what you want. What are you not doing right now for the fear of being judged? Because one of the examples that I can give you is my YouTube channel. I wanted to start a YouTube channel when I was 16. It took me until 27. That's like 11 years of my life that I wasted. Why? Because I had this fear that people in my high school, in my college, whatever, they would find me and they would make fun of me. I don't, I still don't know why I think that. And I, they probably have found it and I don't really care anymore. But it's one of those fears that just like came with me for this whole time. And I'm like, what the fuck is wrong with you? And the moment you start taking action and doing all these things because you want to do them, not because the rest of the world is going to approve or not of them. You just want to do them because you want to do them that's when you could start to see change happen. It's the same thing that when I shaved my head two years ago, I shaved my head at the end of 2020, and it's something that I wanted to do for so long. But why didn't I do it? Because I was always like, oh, I'm gonna look fat if I shave my head. Because I, back then I had like 16 kilos more. Oh, people are not gonna like it. I'm gonna look deranged. I'm gonna look weird. I don't know. And the funny thing is like, I was desperately trying to lose weight back then, and it was just not going away. Even though I dieted, I worked out and everything. The moment I shaved my head, I started to lose weight immediately. And it's because that weight was kind of like a way of my body to protect me energetically. And I've realized that, that whenever I don't feel safe, I feel this fear of being judged or something, I just gain weight. And it's an energetic way of like my body to just protect itself. So at the end of the day, make a list of all the things that you think, okay, I can't do this right now because I would be judged. People are gonna think weirdly of me, this and this and that. 
and start doing those things. Start working towards doing those things. Maybe don't start with like the biggest thing ever, but start doing with small things because the more you do these things, the automatically less you will care about what other people think of you because you are challenging that. You're making yourself challenge that. You need to go against your fears. You're gonna need to look your fears in there and be like, yes, I'm gonna do this and I don't care that you're there. At the end of the day, your fears are kind of like a sign or information for you to be like, hey, I'm here, you need to get over me. Like I'm an obstacle that you need to overcome, you know? Remember that you are the only person capable of defining yourself. The wizard list said something very similar in her video. Like if you wanna check hers out, she also mentioned some other points that I think are really interesting on this topic. Um, but yeah, I hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Let me know anything you want in the comments. Let me know ideas for next videos and I'll see you guys next week.